One of the biggest challenges of building out your van is finding enough storage space for all of your stuff. Throughout our build, we have thought very carefully about storage space to make sure that everything has its place. As you saw in one of our most recent videos, we are still finding ways to maximize our storage space in our van. We heard that you're not real van lifers unless you have a fruit basket in your van. Apparently it's the rules or something. <laughs> So that inspired us to put a twist on it and we decided to make our own. The other day I made a fruit basket and we're gonna make some similar to this, catering to our needs for storage in the van. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you and me how to make fruit baskets similar to this one. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that I am not good at art at all, never have been. Uh, so if I can figure out how to do this, you guys can figure out how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> For what we're creating today, all you're going to need is some cord. We're going to use two millimeter, something to measure with, something to cut with. Super simple. Let's do it. I learned how to do this from watching another YouTube video, so I will link that in the description. Cut eight 220 centimeter strands and then three 50 centimeter strands. Once you get your strands cut, you're gonna hang them over a bar. Or something. Or something. And you're just gonna kind of uh, move them off center and then tie a knot. What we're gonna do is fishtail. So we're gonna take all eight strands, fan them out, split them in half, and then you're gonna take the outside edge inside. Then you're just gonna repeat outside edge inside. Outside edge to the inside of the other edge. Yeah. If you know how to fishtail braid, this is what we're doing. Grab our 50 centimeter piece we cut, place it like this, make a little loop de doop, and then we're gonna twist it all around. Mine only started like right there. Cause you, cause that's okay. That's not a big deal. We put this end through the loop. And then we pull this end and it pulls it up in. There. There we go. So now what we're supposed to do is carefully untie it flip it. Would you tie it for me? Like that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Flip it and we're going to do the same thing to the other end. So Katrina was just showing me the video that we're gonna follow along with and to make these. And all we're doing is using square knots the whole way, which is cool because I already know that knot. The reason that I know that knot is because I'm a rock climber and so is Katrina. And when you're tying up a rope to use as a backpack to like carry it somewhere, you would leave two strands and then tie a square knot. So that's how I know that knot. So I'm going to demonstrate that part. Yeah, so it's a little bit confusing because there's four ropes, but you only need two, two ends to do a square knot. Basically, it's just your regular, like, when you go to tie your shoes, the first thing that you do is you, like, crisscross them like that. 
And then you do the exact same thing, except for you do opposite of whatever you did. You do it the opposite way, and then it turns like that. So it's kind of like what you would do as a, like a double knot, but if you do it one way and then flip it, do the other way, then it's a square knot. Yeah, how cool. Super easy. So this, this rest of this is gonna easy be easy peasy for Kate. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to split it in half. Have four strands on one side, four strands on the other. And then with those four strands, we're going to go a little bit below the very top. And then we're gonna tie a square knot. take this strand, I cross it over, yeah. then I take this strand, I put it in front, yeah. and then I push it behind those two, Oh, you, oh. and over. Like yep. Then when I get confused is that which way to go, which one to do next, but I you do the, the same, opposite you one. You do exactly opposite, so yep. whatever you looped, or like whichever one you like crossed over, then you do the other side. Got it. So once we got our two square knots on this side, we're just gonna move to the other side and tie two more square knots at the same height. So what we're gonna do next is connect these together. So we're gonna take the two inside on this one, the two inside on this one, and we're gonna do exactly what we just did a little further down. We're gonna tie another square knot. just go around so now I'm gonna connect these two by taking their two inside those two inside and then tying a square knot right at the same same level Does this come off? Why? <laughs> like, oh, because you just connected it to it? Uh, yeah, it's literally stuck on there now. <laughs> this comes off, so we can go like this and go down. True. Okay. Make sure you have a way to get it off your pole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basically, that's what we just keep doing. So we keep going around. Once you have all of the sides connected, we make another row by taking the two outside, see how these aren't connected anymore? Taking the two inside, not outside, and square knotting them together.
our van, so we're trying to make them fit in our van perfectly. And Kate measured. We have about 30 inches. Of course, we don't want to make them that long because we don't want them to hit the counter. But we have 30 inches to play with. When you start getting to a point where you think you have enough rows, you want to count them so you can see one, two, three, four, five rows that I have. I'm going to do six and then a finishing row. When you have as many rows as you would like, we both did six, you're going to once again join the rows together by using a square knot. Uh, what? <laughs> square knot. <laughs> The fun thing with this is once you have your square knot, you're going to continue making square knots. And it reminds me of the bracelets my friends would make for me growing up. And then we're just gonna go around doing that same thing one, two, three, four, five, all of them. Yep. In order to not lose track, uh, something that I do is you can see that this rope is coming out forward and this rope is going backwards. Always take the backwards one and start with that one. If you start losing track. Yeah, I'm getting quick at these. I found a quick way. How? I just do it like bam. Oops, I did it the wrong way that time though. Okay. You distracted me. Wow, I distracted you? You said you were getting fast. Well, I am until you get distracted me. Okay. We take our last 50 centimeter piece of rope, gather it at the bottom, gather everything, and just like we did earlier, we leave the top up, a little bit at the top, we make a loop, and then we wrap. And we determine how long we want our bottom to be and we just snip. I'm gonna grab my tape real quick. I think I'm just gonna cut it like right right here. Okay. I was kind Hold of it. a little funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, you cut my hand. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Look! Everybody see mine? Look how beautiful it turned out. Oh yeah. Hey look at that's like cool. They turned out almost identical, same length. Yeah, you can't even tell whose is whose. Without even trying, that's cool. And we're just gonna go snip. <laughs> Perfect. Here is the final product. I think they kinda look like mermaid tails. <laughs> so cool. So we'll show you them in the van. Before we go put these in the van, we just wanted to mention that we started a Patreon page. So if you like what we're doing and you want to support us as creators, go down in the description, click the link below and check it out. It means a lot to us. For those of you that don't know, Patreon is a subscription-based service that allows you to directly support us while also gaining some extra bonus content from us. There are four tiers to choose from, starting with the Dreamer tier at only $5 a month. Each tier gains you more and more access to different types of bonus content, including our monthly newsletter, some blooper photos, a blooper video, and some live stuff that's gonna come in the future. If this is something that you would be interested in, go down in the description and click the link and check it out. All right, let's get back to the video. We're not hanging them today because we're not ready to commit to that. Yet. We don't know exactly where we should put them, but that is what you guys should let us know. Tell us your favorite spot. We're thinking like here, looks nice. Or here, it actually is like a good length too. 
like picture because we're gonna just basically hang a bunch of them next to each other. So we'd have like a cute little fruit corner. Oh, these are heavy in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could hang them basically anywhere along here. I think, well, that's, um, you definitely need a corner. <laughs> <clears throat> they can't hang over my head when I sleep. They could. They could, I guess. Yeah. So this would be over my head, though. But your mattress will come to, like, here. I think it'll tickle my nose. We could also put them over here. Oh. Couldn't we? Maybe? Um. Or at least we could put one. <clears throat> like, yeah. over here? Me. Oh, one lower. Right here? Good. It's an nope. option. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's not an option. <laughs> yeah, so we have a few options. So, should we hang them on the higher one? I'm kind of thinking we should. Or should we hang them on the lower one? I mean, either one. We're going to end the video here. If you end up making one of these, let us know. Tag us in our Instagram and show us. We can't wait to see them. Also, let us know in the comments where we should hang these in the van. Thanks for watching. It's been really busy for us lately and we haven't been on our normal video schedule, but we're gonna get back to that soon and we appreciate you guys coming along with us.